Reserva Troncal, Article 891, New Civil Code. Article 891. The ascendant who inherits from his descendant any property which the latter may have acquired by gratuitous title from another ascendant or a brother or sister is obliged to reserve such property as he may have acquired by operation of law for the benefit of relatives who are within the third degree and who belong to the line from which said property came. Reserva Troncal is provided for under Article 891. And what is the purpose of Reserva Troncal? The Reserva Troncal is a special rule designed primarily to assure the return of the reservable property to the third-degree relatives belonging to the line from which the property originally came and avoid its being dissipated into and by the relatives of the inheriting ascendant or known as the reservista. It is to prevent persons who are outsiders to the family from acquiring, by chance or accident, property which otherwise would have remained with the said family. In short, to put back the property to the line from which it originally came. The purpose of Reserva Troncal, therefore, is to keep the property in the family to which it belongs. The following are the characters or parties to Reserva Troncal. Number one is the origin. The origin is the ascendant, brother or sister, who transmits property, real or personal, by gratuitous title, either donation or inheritance, to a descendant called the propositus. Number two is the propositus. He is the descendant who acquires property by gratuitous title from the origin. Number three is the reservista. He is the ascendant who inherits by operation of law from the propositus. And number four, the reservatorius. These are the third degree relatives of the propositus belonging to the line where the property had originated. So here is an illustration of Reserva Troncal. There are three transmissions here. The first one is from the origin to the propositus here. The second transmission is from the propositus to the reservista. And the third transmission is from the reservista to the reservatorius. Okay, so uh, in the first transmission, the property is transmitted by an ascendant known as origin, brother or sister, to the propositus by gratuitous title, such as donation or succession. The propositus is a descendant who acquired absolute ownership of the donated or inherited property from an ascendant brother or sister and who died without an issue, meaning the propositus died without a compulsory heir, without a spouse or a child. And in the second transmission, the property is inherited by another ascendant of whatever degree called the reservista from the propositus by operation of law with the duty to reserve the same for the benefit of the reservatorius. The third transmission is from the reservista to the reservatorius. Here, the property is transmitted by the reservista to, to the reservatorius or relatives within the third degree from the propositus belonging to the line from where the property came from. The rule is that the nearer relative excludes the more remote relative. Notice that the three transmissions look like an inverted letter N. So what are the requisites in order that a property may be impressed with a reservable character? Number one, that the property was acquired by a descendant called propositus from an ascendant or from a brother or sister by gratuitous title when the recipient does not give anything in return. Number two, that said descendant or propositus died without an issue. Number three, that the same property called reserva is inherited by another ascendant called reservista by operation of law, either through interstate or compulsory succession from the propositus. And number four, that there are living relatives within the third degree counted from the propositus and belonging to the same line from where the property originally came, called reservatarios. Illustration Mother gave a parcel of land to her child by donation or in her will, then the mother died. 
The child subsequently died with no descendant and no will, so the father inherited the land by interstate succession. The father owns the land only until he dies. The land is reserved by law in favor of the relatives of the mother within the third degree from the child who are known as the reservees or reservatorios. In this particular case, the reservees or reservatorios within the third degree from the propositors are any of the following. 1. Maternal half-brothers and half-sisters who are second-degree relatives. 2. Maternal half-nephews and half-nieces who are third-degree relatives. 3. Maternal grandparents who are second-degree relatives. 4. Maternal great-grandparents who are third-degree relatives. And 5. Maternal aunts and uncles who are third-degree relatives. Notice that the reservatorio closest to the propositus excludes all the other relatives. Does the reservista own the reservable property? The reservista is the absolute or full owner of the reservable property subject to a resolutory condition. If at the time of the reservista's death, there should exist relatives within the third degree of the propositus and belonging to the line from which the property came, the property passes on to said reservatorio. Note that the reservable property is not part of the estate of the reservista. When does the reservatorio acquire the right over the reservable property? Upon the death of the reservista, the reservatorio nearest to the decedent propositus becomes automatically and by operation of law the absolute owner of the reservable property. Is there a right of representation in reserva troncal? Yes, there is representation in reserva troncal, but the representative must also be within the third degree from the propositus. Illustration. The mother dies in the state, leaving a car to her son. Later, the son dies in the state with no issue, meaning no spouse or children. What happens to the property? The father inherits the car by interstate succession. The car is reservable. Assuming that the father does not dispose of the car during his lifetime, upon his death, said car passes to the reservatorio nearest in degree to the propositus within the third civil degree. There is no reserva troncal if the child gives the property to his father in a will out of the free portion of his estate. Hence, said property cannot be used to pay the debts of the reservista's estate because it is not part of his estate after his death. Reserva Maxima and Reserva Minima explain. A son received from his mother 200,000 under her will. He also had properties of his own worth 400,000. When the son died without issue, his father inherited his estate worth 600,000. How much is the reservable property? The legitimate of the father in his son's estate is 300,000, equivalent to one half of the 600,000 total estate. Under the principle of reserva maxima, since the 200,000 legitimate of 300,000 received by the son from his mother can be included or contained in his legitimate of 300,000, said 200,000 is reservable. But under the principle of reserva minima, only one half of the 200,000 is reservable on the theory that only one half of the 200,000 received by the son from his mother went to the father by operation of law. The reserva maxima is more in consonance with the original objective of reserva troncal because it subjects to the reservation the largest amount possible. But the reserva minima is more just and equitable, more in line with the philosophy of law and socialization of property, and favored by Manresa and Scaevola. With respect to Reserva Troncal, remember the following. 1. Among the reservists, those in the direct line are preferred as against the collateral line. Thus, a grandparent is preferred to a half-brother or half-sister. Also, the nearer excludes the father. 2. Maternal half-nieces or half-nephews are preferred to maternal aunts or maternal uncles because they are also interstate heirs of the propositus while maternal aunts and uncles are not. Number three, children of first cousins are not reservists because they are already sixth degree from the propositus. Number four, the reservista must inventory the property and must furnish a bond, 
mortgage, or any other security to secure the delivery of the property or its value to the reservist. Number five, the reservista is liable for all deterioration imputable to his fault or negligence. Number six, land may be registered as a subject to reserva troncal, and if there is such annotation in the title, security is not necessary. Number seven, if the property is personal, the reservista may sell, donate, or pledge the property, but his estate must reimburse the reservist the value of the property. Number eight, if the property is land, the reservista must annotate the reserva troncal within 90 days from the time he accepts the inheritance, when there is no case filed in court, or within 90 days from the time it is awarded to him by the court. The reservist can judicially demand the annotation. Number nine, the reservist inherit the property from the propositus, not from the reservista. They are conditional heirs of the propositus. Number 10, there is representation in reserva troncal, but the representative must also be within the third degree from the propositus, like nephews or nieces. Number 11, proceeds of insurance given to the beneficiary are not subject to reserva troncal because this is not a donation. Number 12, if the mother gives a lotto ticket to her son and the ticket wins and later the prize is inherited by the father, there is no reserva troncal because the price came from the PTSO, not from the mother. 13. Prescription extinguishes the reserva troncal, 30 years for a real property and 8 years for personal property. Number 14. If the property subject to reserva troncal is expropriated, the reserva continues on the indemnity. Number 15. If the property is insured and later destroyed, the reserva continues and the insurance proceeds. And number 16, reserva troncal exists only in the legitimate family. No reserva exists in favor of illegitimate relatives. How is reserva extinguished? 1. By the death of the reservoir or reservista. 2. By the death of all the would-be reservists ahead of the reservoir. 3. By accidental loss of the reservable property, and 4. By prescription, 30 years for real property and 8 years for personal property from the death of the reservoir. The other terms used to refer to reserva troncal are the following, lineal, familiar, extraordinary, semi-troncal, and pseudo-troncal. This is the end. Thank you.